Hey everybody, Reds fan 1979 coming back at you with a special baseball card video. Hope everybody's having a great week and weekend, a three day weekend for me with Columbus Day. Um, baseball is winding down. Uh, I was glad to see Luis Castillo dominate in his first playoff game. Uh, wish him the best of luck. Uh, my friend JY and I got to meet him a couple years ago, I think it was 2019 at Reds Fest um, before the pandemic started and got his autographed baseball and got a photo with him and he's just a really awesome humble guy so wish him the best um i did something really cool today met another uh, joey Votto fan but before i show you some cards i picked up i wanted to show you these two um this is something they're starting to do i noticed in 2022 they're starting to come out with cards that display the city that um a particular player is from so i can't really tell which one of these i like the most um these were supposedly um, fairly rare from Topps uh, 2022. I don't know if they're case hits, but uh, the home field advantage, <laughs> I had to laugh because you've got the Skyline Chili there. I think I've only had that one time, even being from um, you know 50 miles north of Cincinnati. Uh, if I want real chili, uh, my wife makes a real homemade chili, so this really isn't my style, but it is a popular thing for Cincinnati. So pretty cool card there like how that looks. Um, and then this was from the uh, Topps Chrome this year, the heart of the city. I actually like that photo better, I think, with the bridge. He's got kind of a dumb <laughs> look on his face. Um, he's made that pose a couple times. It's just funny, uh, but pretty cool. So nice insert card there. So let me tell you guys, um, I don't get a chance to meet up with a lot of other card collectors in person a whole lot. I met JY about three years ago at the Moeller, Cincinnati Moeller card show. And I think I've met up with one or two other people. Uh, but um, there's a guy from my Joey Votto Collectors Facebook group that I've become friends with. And I don't remember if I've bought any cards from him, but I found out he lives literally about 10 or 12 minutes from me. And he was having a card sale. Um, Kind of a sad story. He, uh, his dog needed some um, some veterinary work, and he said he had kind of a large bill to pay, so he was selling some of his vados. So I felt kind of bad because um, I didn't want to take any of the collection he's built, but um, he really needed some help. So I actually got to go visit him today. The guy's name's Ed. So a uh, shout out to Ed. Uh, nice, to, really nice to meet you. I got to spend about an hour with him, just talking about the Reds and Vado and our collections. So I just want to show you guys uh, some of my cool pickups. Um, so this is a Gold Star Parallel. By the way, all of these cards he gave me for pretty much like 50 cents each, which was really nice. Um, then we have a, a Fearless from Prism this year insert. We've got a First Home Run, which is one of the older inserts I did not have from uh, 2015 tops. Then we've got Panini Classics, Stars of Summer, pretty cool. We've got an Elite Dominator to $9.99 from 2014. Then we've got this really cool Pinnacle Clear Vision from 2013. I have the regular base, but not this. We have a, a Breaking Out Parallel that's kind of cool um, from 2014 tops. And then a Leather and Lumber Equalizers Parallel from 2019. We've got an Aficionado insert from Diamond Kings. 2016, I believe, and then a Pinnacle Position Powers from 2013. And then just the top loaded cards here. This is really cool. He actually had advertised this and I claimed it. This is a case hit, a red parallel beam team from 2018 Stadium Club. So pretty cool there. Nice insert. Uh, we've got a couple of uh, Topps Chrome 2022 parallels, the pink and the prism to add to the, these things just pop really nicely. Um, we have a mosaic red, um, and I don't know what parallel it is, but I just love the red background color match, so that's pretty cool. Um, this was a really neat find. This is Panini Absolute. This is a gold number to 10, 10 out of 10 um, from 2022, which was pretty sweet. Then we've got um, Select. This looks really neat, like an atomic refractor, I think. This is 20, oh, this is 2022. This was number 21 out of 25. So really sweet card there. Then the last one was this really nice gold parallel of 21 uh, Tops Allen and Ginter, numbered to uh, 50. So he gave me a really nice price on all these, and I was really glad to help him with his dog. So 
Ed, again, I want to send a big shout out to you. It was really great to meet you in person. And I really want to thank you for helping to add to my collection. And I hope you are able to replenish, you know, some cards in your collection. So anyways, uh, let me know what you guys think of these pickups. Um, let me know if you had a favorite card here. Drop a comment below. Um, again, big shout out to Ed. Always great to meet another um, Votto fan, Reds fan, card collector. And I hope to be able to meet up with some other people in person as well in the future. Hope everybody has a great weekend. And please like, comment, subscribe.